Hi hey everyone, let's begin logistic regression using Strata. When before going to perform before going to perform logistic regression in Strata, first of all, we would understand what do you mean by uh, this one is the logistic regression. So logistic regression is used to distinguish between two or more groups. Suppose we want to categorize something, we would like to check performance. Uh, who is performing better? Let's say group A and group B. Only there are two groups. So we would use this logistic regression or uh, we can say categorical data or we can say dichotomous data. There is suppose uh, girls and boys data. We have two categories data. So we would like to check performance individually. So we are going to use logistic regression. So whenever we are using categorical data, dichotomous data, it means we will apply logistic regression. So logistic regression is generally preferred when there are only two categories of the dependent variable, right? Dependent variable means girls and boys. These are the two categories, married, unmarried. These are the two categories. So in that way, uh, employed and unemployed, these are the two categories. So in that way, we, we, whenever we have two categories of the dependent variable, we would apply logistic regression. So here is, if you have more than two categories of dependent variable, the next question is arise, then we will apply discriminant analysis, not logistic regression, correct? So logistic regression uses a maximum likelihood estimation technique. I will explain you all these things in this video only. What is maximum likelihood estimation technique and how we are performing iterations also. And how we are going to calculate maximum likelihood estimation and as well as how it would be helpful in determining right which model is good and which model is bad. When we are comparing two models, that would be very helpful in comparing two models. That is the role of uh, this one is uh, maximum likelihood estimation technique. And here is logistic regression computes the log odds for a particular outcome. The odds of an outcome are given by the ratio of the probability of its happening and not happening. Like So we will calculate like odds is P divided by 1 minus P. P in the sense there is the probability to happen and 1 minus p means when we would deduct from 1 so rest of this let's say 80 time 0.8 percent we can say 80 percent there is the probability of happening and so 100 minus 80 so 20 percent means 1 minus p will become 0.2 and p will be 0.8 so that means 20 percent is probability of not happening so where is p is the probability of the event or odds is p by q we can call it 1 minus p as q also and in simple regression involving 1 dv and 1 iv a regression coefficient for example how it would interpret i would explain you all the interpretation when i would perform an strata Regression coefficient of 2 means IV indicates that a unit change in the value of IV means one unit has changed in the uh, value of independent variables. So that would increase dependent variable that will change by 2 units because regression coefficient is 2. So 1 multiplied by 2 that will become 2 units. So, but no such uh, direct correspondence in logistic regression, right? That is the example of this one is only for some simple regression, right? I am talking about simple regression here. But when we are talking about logistic regression, so no such kind of direct correspondence is here. So here we can have the concept of odds to interpret the result. So that is why we are working on uh, log odds. So a change in one unit of IV will multiply the odds by, expo by exponential B. Where is the B is the logistic regression coefficient for the independent variable under consideration. So one by one, we would understand all these things. Let's say I have this case. Case is this a uh, student want to test a hypothesis regarding the relationship between size and age of a firm and its performance in a particular industry. So size was measured by the number of employees working in the firm and age in terms of the number of years it's, it is operating. Performance variable is measured with the help of survey in which CEO of the firm has to mention if his firm is making profit or loss. So means you can understand there is the two categories. One is the profit and loss. 
so we will we will code accordingly a response of the one indicates means profit and zero indicates loss so one and zero and all these things we have already done coding for the logistic regression so now this is the time to start this is in stata right so what we will do let's say i want to create a new file right so what i will do simply rather than i would copy both these parameters performance and size right so we would there are total how many entries are here total entries are 50 right 50 entries so what i will do i will copy and simply because uh, i'm not opening any file that is already existing in this stata so that is new file i'm going to use so now you can see in the variable one these are the uh, performance performance is already coded into two categories one and zero and this one is the size of the form so can we rename this so variable one we will uh, variable one here is this one is we would rename so i am giving this variable as performance performance right so this one is the performance a moment i have changed so now you can see performance is this variable is renamed now variable 2 when i will go to variable 2 i will rename this this one is the variable that is size that is size size for size of this form so now this is also changed so i'm sure uh, in that way you can open any file or if you are using your any other file so you can import also that file so now what we have to do now we will go to now i would like to perform logistic regression so statistics here is binary outcomes right binary outcomes first one is logistic regression so i would click here logistic regression this one is reflecting dependent variable so i would select dependent variable is performance in my data set and size is independent variable right so i have selected both these things then i i will press ok and now you can see these are my results and now you can see i would interpret each and every result in my word document so simply what we can do simply this logistic regression we can simply copy here copy as a picture you can take it otherwise this uh yes and this is my one of new document I had already opened and I would press this, right? And we can bigger this size. So values would be visible, correct? And values are visible now, right? Perfect. So now you can see logistic regression, this logistic regression, log likelihood, right? This is the value of this log likelihood is minus 22.4158 name number of the observations are 50 lr chi square is 24.40 and this one is the probabilistic chi square 0 0.00 and 0 r square is 0 0.35 and here is you can see in this column performance and here is the size and that one is the constant so odds ratio right we had calculated odds ratio right i will discuss odds ratio after this let me calculate once again, statistics, binary outcomes, logistic regression. And rather than we are taking, we would like to, first of all, report as, okay, fine. First of all, this one is the performance. Performance is already, I think, added, right? Let me clear this first and then I'm going to take performance. And here is already, size is already there right i would say this one is the um, i would select one of the variable that is size and now what i will do i want to report here right not possible right okay and no same thing is odds ratio it has just a moment i would select logistic regression and let me write now it will work what happened uh, and let me okay fine 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 i think i had done bigger size of the font so just because of this i could not be able to select this right model let me use my this one is the tab and uh, 
Yes, yes. Now the default standard and after that I would use report. Right? Report. I would use report, right. So here is, I would select report estimated, right? Rather than report odds ratio, report as a, this one is, will give me coefficient. Now you can see here, right? You can see here, this one is the, that is reflecting. Here is coefficient. Earlier in this thing, odds ratio and here is coefficient. So I would copy this also. Let me copy and uh, paste here. And uh, now we would compare both these things. So I had pasted, no, not at control Z. I will take it as a, see, this is the difference. When we will select it as it is copy and paste. So it is, so I would select as copy as a picture. So now this table would be as it is, we can carry forward and we can paste in our Word document. And again, I would increase my base. This one is the size, font size. And now we can compare. Now you can see. Performance now there is coefficient rather than rather than this one is the odds ratio. We will discuss both these things. So this one is the coefficient first. We are going to discuss performance and here is, these are the coefficients and uh, mm, correct standard errors and uh, here is T because I had uh, selected jack right so and the p value coefficient and intervals right. So, first of all, the log likelihood value of the regression model is a way to measure the goodness of it for a model. So, means what is the meaning of this log likelihood minus 22.41582. That means it is reflecting, measures the goodness of it for a model. That means it is a good indicator. So, that, uh, rather higher, higher the value of this, that means it is uh, it shows that is a better model. The higher the value of the log likelihood, the better a model fits a data set. The log likelihood value for a given model can range from negative infinity to positive infinity. That would vary in between this negative to positive. And here is, in my case, this is my equation. Now you can see model one, let's say I had performed model one performance equal to beta uh, 0 and beta 1 that is the I have taken one of the variable that is the size of the firm. Uh, let's say again I can use this model also uh, I would put one more variable in my data set then after that that would be model 2 will come right so let me check here because I had already run before right so now you can see likelihood value for the model one that is minus 22.04 that is already reflecting here right this one is 22.4182 and for this second model that is minus 33.75 right i will just show you how we can run second model also so which means the first model offers a better fit for the data right and let me go back and I will open this uh, variable editor. And here is, I will select my third variable also, right? Second variable, sorry. This one is the age, size, size and performance I had already copied, right? From this uh, data set. And let me copy this and I would paste in my data set. Let me paste it, right? And after that, I would rename this variable. And uh, I will give this variable name is age because that is reflecting age of the form, right? So now we will save this. And after that, uh, okay, fine. This is not saved yet. So let's say I'm giving um, logistic regression, logistic regression demo file, right? So that would be demo and I would save it. And now what I will do, now I want to perform uh, for the next model, right? So again, I will go back to statistics, binary outcomes, logistic regression. And uh, here is performance. So rather than size, I'm just relating because I had increased font size. So just because of this, uh, you could not be able to see all these things. So here is age I am going to select and I would press OK. 
right age i have got select and i would press okay and now you can see these are the this is the second model is here and now i will copy this not not sort copy copy as a picture and uh, again i will go back to my this model and now i would like to show you control v and increase my little bit size so values would be visible and uh, now you can see coefficient now log likelihood is minus 33.37 minus 33.37 correct so i am comparing i mean maximum likelihood that is the role of log likelihood which model is better so we will just compare only this part log likelihood that is minus 33.37 and for this log likelihood minus 22.41582 so which one is better because this value right this value is bigger as comparatively to this value so what we can do though both are in negative right so it is useful for comparing two or more models so i hope you can understand how we are going to compare the first model has a higher log likelihood value minus 22.04 than the second model minus 33.75 which means the first model offers a better fit to the model so i hope when calculating log likelihood values it's important to note that adding more predictor variables to a model will almost always increase the log likelihood value so then again our results would be biased so even if the additional predictor variables are not statistically significant but still that would add on that would increase this uh, uh, maximum likelihood value so it means we can say the, that is why i have taken this uh, statement this means you should only compare the log likelihood values between two regression models if each model has the same number of predictor variables so that is the one mandatory condition when you are comparing these two log likelihood right so it means we are having same predictor variables same predictor variables means same independent variable those are predicting dependent so i hope this video would be clear to you logistic regression but lots of other analysis i am going to explain you in the next video like what is odd ratios what is standard error what do you mean by z value what do you mean by p value whether it is significant or not how we are going to calculate l r chi square right and uh, pseudo r square each and everything further interpretation in part 2 of logistic regression i am going to explain you so i hope this video would be helpful stay tuned and keep watching